technology and how you can use it too. We'll also chat with leading experts and you'll find out if the latest gadget will take my money or not. Don't miss the tech show, tech your local listings. You're watching K34QB, Vail, Colorado. Welcome to this Sunday edition of Good Morning Vale. I'm your host, Gretchen Pleshaw. We have a revival, Skea, and so much more coming in to talk to us here for Good Morning Vale. So sit back, have that cup of coffee, because Good Morning Vale Sunday edition starts right now. Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. Sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Hi, it's Julio from TV8 Vail. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on 92? Because we're always bringing you more. More Good Morning Vail from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More local coverage with Vail Vibes and Covered Bridge on TV8. More opportunities to participate with new roundtable panels on Mountain Perspectives and our new Spanish programming block coming this fall. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or our website at tv 8 vailcom
for TV8 in Vail, I'm Avisha Scarborough at the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater. We'll see you next time. Hi friends, welcome to a little behind the scenes. I'm Avisha Scarborough and I'm so excited to be part of the team at TV8 in Vail. I love the outdoor lifestyle here. I love the arts and culture and I love being part of this community. My show is called Vail Vibes with Avisha where I tell you about all the amazing activities going on here in Vail and surrounding areas all year round. Now, who doesn't love a delicious pastry, especially one by a pastry chef who has been mentored and coached and worked in all of the top-notch restaurants here in the Valley and beyond. Ross had a conversation with the chef and founder of Sweet Mountains. Good morning, Vail. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining us on the couch now, we have some special guests. We have Chef Gonzalez with Sweet Mounds and her lovely parents joining us. Welcome, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much Thank for you. having you. you. Yeah. Thanks for us. Welcome, guys. We're stoked to have you. Um, Chef Gonzalez, so you do a little bit of pastry work and now you're working with your parents. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing? I do, yes. Well, I'll tell you a little bit of myself. Okay. I started um, a while ago started working in restaurants. I went to Le Cordon Bleu in California, and then I came back here to the Valley, I started working in restaurants, and I fell in love with pastry. And after working several years, I just decided to create Sweet Mountains. And my parents working in the hospitality, they always you know, had this dream of opening something one day. And finally we did, and I'm just helping them with pastries and supporting them in Eagle. Yeah, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. So the, the, the shop in Eagle's called uh, Canela Coffee, right? And where is that located? That is located in Broadway, 228, okay. next to Wells Fargo. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Open every day? Open every day, yeah. 9 to 5, yeah. And, and, and so it sounds like it's coffee and pastry, so it's a one-stop shop. Coffee, pastries, there's also salads, crepes, awesome. and sandwiches. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And then for you guys, what's it like kind of working on your own now and, and open, up, open up a local business? Is it, do you love it? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and the people accepting very good the, the, yeah. the coffee shop. Yeah. Because it's uh, like, a, it's a small business, but it's, it's really, really And the good. community is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And we uh, have a local coffee, mm -hmm. like a bonfire. Awesome. That's been going good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with your family? Do you like working with me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's got to be a little bit of fun, but obviously work. But what's it like kind of working with your husband and your daughter? Do you enjoy but, it? I have uh, many years working together, okay. so it's, it's not new. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's easy, yeah? But it's easy. It's, it's easy. easy. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work and, yeah. you know, Definitely. love and effort every yeah. day. But, yeah, we just, just, it's good. The relationship is good. Good, good. That's what we like to hear. That's what we like yeah. to hear. So about the pastries and stuff, like, how, how, do you, how did you exactly fall in love? Is it you make it and then you eat it and you fall in love, or do you kind of make it and you love making it? I, I love making it. Okay. Um, I try to make desserts that it, you know you fall in love when you see it, but it has to taste good as well, right? Of course. Yes. So I don't know. It's just learning. I uh, I work at Bouchon Bistro back in uh, Beverly Hills a while ago, and then Matsuhisenvel, Lexpur, Sweet Basil. I mean, it's been a long, a lot of restaurants that I work in that I fell in love with, like every single chef that I work with, and they taught me you know, new things and stuff, had to make desserts. Yeah. So, yeah. And those are all wonderful restaurants, beautiful they restaurants. Are. So yes, they are, yes, they are. a great experience from those. For you guys, what's kind of been the most fun thing about doing this, and what's kind of been the most challenging thing about starting a business? Challenging? Yeah. Opening a business, to be honest, everybody think it's easy, but it's not. It's yeah. a lot of steps involved. Uh, we didn't know anything about it, but now that we know, it's just like, oh, okay. We learn. We yeah. learn, yeah. we learn, right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, the fun thing is just, you know, we love having people in our place, having a good time, yeah. sharing a cup of coffee and, you know, a pastry or going for crepes. It's just like, it's a good point you know for meeting or gathering definitely yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. and eagle's such a tight community everyone's tight community. very close so mm -hmm. it's it's kind of awesome that you guys are an eagle it mm -hmm. is yes yeah. yes so grateful yeah and then with the coffee is some of it's local right but do you guys do any kind of specialty coffees or what's what can people oh, expect yes yeah? we do have a signature coffee Ooh. what's which that is the, is the 
Café de olla. Café de olla. Okay. So, café de olla is basically like brew coffee, spiced with cloves, star anise, and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Canela means cinnamon. Okay. So, that's our signature coffee. Okay, yeah. I like mm -hmm. that. Pretty like tasty, that. yes, uh, yes. Uh, the secret ingredient in the café de olla is the piloncillo. Is it okay. With piloncillo is like the brown, brown sugar. sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I can taste it already. I can yeah. taste it. <laughs> um, how, how's it been going down there? Are a lot of people coming in? Are you seeing the same faces over and over again? Is that how, how it's we been We see, like, you know, both both sides. We mm -hmm. see, like, a lot of locals. and then, uh, We're getting, like, you know, like, our locals, our friends are coming every day. We have new people, mm -hmm. especially when they come from the airport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The new friends that are coming yeah. and visiting, mm -hmm. which is great. Tourists. Yeah, yeah tourists. Definitely. But, you yeah. know, we love them. Yeah, of yeah? course. Yeah, we, we definitely... We need, need them. them. We need exactly. them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, amazing. Amazing. And then, so you're you obviously have this culinary background, and you, what else do you do? I'm a mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a, a job. Mom. Yes, I have two two beautiful kids, and that's a full time job, of course. But yes, that's what I do. I used to work in restaurants, but I now I'm fully committed to Sweet Mountains awesome. and to, you know, Thrive Canela Coffee yeah. Shop. So in you full say, extent. You say two kids. I hear two cashiers or two coffee makers or right two. Right in the future. Two pastry <laughs> chefs, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Get them in there, get them working. That's Absolutely. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, what's kind of next for you guys? What, what, where do you go from here? There's going to be a lot of surprises this summer. We're going to extend our hours because, you know, it's in the afternoons is beautiful. <laughs> Hi. We're, we're probably going to have these lovely visitors, you know, in our outside tables. Awesome. Uh, so extended hours. Uh, there's going to be new and stuff, new pastries. I'm, I'm going away for a while, okay. but I'm going to be back. I'm, I'm taking a staging somewhere. Are you guys going to be okay when she leaves? <laughs> yeah. They will. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I in think some, we're yeah, in summer is a, a little more large the menu. Okay, good. More, more surprise, more more flavor. Good. Mm -hmm. More okay. ingredients. And are you the person behind the the menu? Yeah. He is. Okay. Yeah. Chef Rocky. Yeah. yeah. So Chef exactly. Rocky, where where does your inspiration come from? Where do you get the ideas to to make the menu? Oh, uh, the menu is a uh, different crepes, different presentation of the crepes, different flavor, meat, uh, in Mexican ingredients. It's a little combination. Love it. It's good, good idea. The yeah. Mexican flair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so what's kind of a, a Mexican take on a crepe? What What are the ingredients in that? Uh, for example, it's uh, do you know the uh, poblano peppers? Oh yeah. And the rajas mm -hmm. with chicken and cream. Oh man, I can oh, taste it. Oh, uh, different is uh, another is uh, guava. Uh, the guava. Okay. Guava crepe or papaya crepe. Okay. It's caramelized papaya and guava. Oh yeah. Different. Those oh, ingredients, yeah. Yeah, different ingredients. Or oh, I have another is um, roast beef, turkey, and ham together. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he even offers, if you want some spicy salsa or something, we have this salsa matcha. Okay. Which oh, is yeah. this very traditional, very like, you know, specific. It's a little spicy. But too specific. So you say a little spicy. <laughs> it's probably pretty <laughs> spicy. It's probably got a good kick to it, right? Yeah, because the salsa matcha is a. Uh, to is uh, ten uh, dry pepper cheese. Oh wow! Yes. Just together, and so it's a little bit. So if you want yeah. something to kick, he has. That's it. awesome. Yes, uh -huh. Chef Rocky, can you give me salsa awesome matcha? Amazing, yes. amazing. <laughs> Do you guys? So obviously, there's places for people to sit down. Are there to-go orders? Are people kind of picking Both. up and going? Absolutely, yeah. yes. You know, mm -hmm. to-go orders, staying. Okay, catering. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, what where can people go for more information or, or well find you can you guys? visit us at our instagram canela.ego okay or just check us on google okay yeah canela. Oh. or check sweet mountains and we're both we're attached you okay can, you yeah. can find information of canela and canela you can find information Facebook, of sweet instagram mountains. tiktok awesome yeah. awesome and then stop by the the coffee shop as yeah, well just stop by. those crepes sound amazing yeah awesome awesome please please anything else you guys want to add anything i should have asked you guys we just want to thanks you know thanks for the opportunity to let people know that actually we exist yeah we're brand new and we're gonna keep on growing good just you know and we invite for we invite everybody just please to come yeah come by us. visit yeah, yeah visit us try us and try the cafe de la yeah, yeah. yeah. right off broadway and, and get some some good local coffee yeah and now that summer is coming it's gonna be more exciting exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> it's almost time for iced coffee right 
Yes. Ice coffee. Ice mm -hmm. coffee, cool Ice coffee, well, yeah. yes. New <laughs> drinks uh, for summer. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I apologize. Pawnee jumped back on the couch here. She just can't get enough. But um, thank you guys it. so much for joining us. You guys thank are you, such a oh, sweet family, and it's great to have thank you guys you. in our community. So thanks for being thank here. You. Thank please, you. So please much. visit us. And yeah, check <laughs> out um, Canela Coffee and Eagle on Broadway, and stay tuned for more Good Morning Vale. Each week on The Tech Show, you can look forward to the latest in technology and how you can use it too. We'll also chat with leading experts and you'll find out if the latest gadget will take my money or not. Don't miss The Tech Show. Tech your local listings. Thank you for watching Good Morning Vale. Have an amazing day. Get on out there, soak up that sunshine. We'll see you tomorrow right here for more Good Morning Vale. Bye, everyone. Hi, I'm Gretchen Pleshaw. You might recognize me from the glitz and glam with Gretchen. Maybe you hear my voice on the radio from time to time or see me out at a concert or two. I love concerts. If you see me out, the long mermaid hair, I'm almost six foot tall, it's hard to miss. Come and say hi, give me a high five and make sure to watch me right here on TV8. Hello, I'm Shervin Rezae here with Chenna Garden in Avon, Colorado. My hobbies are obviously skiing. I've been skiing since I was three years old. In addition to that, music's always been my first passion, and you can see that alive and well at Chenna Garden with our little record nook, where we have over 300 records, and we'll continue to grow that collection and play vinyl records for you while you enjoy your cuisine. Chenna Garden is Avon's oldest running restaurant. We've been open since 1988 when my mother set up shop and wanted to begin offering Avon Colorado the best quality Chinese food that we could get. And I started working in the restaurant when I was eight years old as a dishwasher making a dollar a day. <laughs> and then uh, one of the servers pushed by my dad told me I should ask for a raise and then I got five dollars a day but then I had to put all twenty-five dollars at the end of the week into a savings account which actually helped me out in college. So after college I went out to New York for law school and I spent 15 out years out in New York City practicing law and working in-house which you know exposed me to a lot of restaurants all over the world all over the country and after getting exposure like that, I realized that we have this beautiful restaurant here that has so much potential. So in the fall of 2023, we came back, remodeled, and tried to get this back to give that special feel that I've known all my life here. We've been uh, offering a lot of new cuisines, including German cuisine with our good family friend, Gunther Schmidt, who's been serving up authentic German cuisine in the Valley for many, many decades. Why not? This is America. We can serve German food in a Chinese restaurant and we just let it try. And after a year of it, it's been building up some success and we're just having a lot of fun just seeing the look of bewilderment on every customer when they're like, how am I getting German food in a Chinese restaurant that's this good at this quality? China Garden is really all about that community and that first starts with the local community. We always try to take care of all of us who are working hard, grinding it, so that we can also enjoy what this valley has to offer. And through that, we get a nice mix of word of mouth tourists who come in. We're looking for something a little more authentic and that has a history with the Valley. I'm a proud member of the Avon Vale Valley community, lifelong member as I was born here. And I hope you come out and see us here at Chenna Garden. We're open every day, four to nine, any day the mountain's open. Cheers. You know, we may have made this pie in honor of Pie Day earlier in the week, but it is green and it is St. Patrick's Day, and who doesn't like a delicious key lime pie? Let's take a look at that recipe. It's Pie Day. Pie Day. <laughs> you know, this is a fun holiday. Do you have a favorite pie? 
I, I actually have a favorite pie. It's key lime pie. A key lime it pie. Is oh, my I favorite. wonder why he said that. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't say cheesecake. I love cheesecake, but it's cake. Yeah, and it's not true. It's true. Sometimes you can make a graham cracker crust for a cheesecake, or but crust. it's not the same. So we are making a key lime pie. And it is, this is honestly one of the easiest recipes for a key lime pie. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Well, we will be the judge of that. It involves sour cream, sweetened condensed milk, obviously lime juice. You can use regular limes if you don't have key lime, but we do have oh, key limes you got to use key lime. You have to. You yeah. know, it just makes it a little bit of a different taste. And then, yep. um, and then also the zest of the key lime. So very simple recipe. You can make your own graham cracker crust, but but we gonna, cheated. We cheated today. Yeah. Because or we, we could say, no, we made it and put in this <laughs> lovely pie pan. You know, we really did. We were really great at uh, crushing it all together and pressing it into the <laughs> pie pan. So this is going to be a really fun and easy recipe. We need 28 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, we got that. We're going to go right ahead here. and open those, and we're going to pour them here into our um, into our giant mixing bowl. And we're also going to make the whipped cream from scratch. So it's going to be no. so fun. Shut and the gondola so door. <laughs> shut the gondola door. It's going to be great and it's going to be easy. So we've got a half a cup of light sour cream. And then we need three quarters of a cup of the lime juice. And so we've got a fun little so lime So Kevin's going to be mixer. squeezing some lime juice, I <laughs> Kevin's take Kevin's going to be squeezing some lime juice. He's going to be mixing it up. And the official squeezer of TV8. Do you want to be the TV official eight. squeezer? And yeah. I can sco uh, scrape the... Uh, Why don't you do that? Yeah, let's do I'm going to need to get we'll started on these things. A little switcheroo here. Okay. So yeah, the sweetened condensed milk is very different. You know, it's just basically sugar and milk, but it's been kind of cooked down and... It's just easier to buy it from the grocery store. You could try to make it on your own, but what's the point? What's the point? <laughs> you know, these cans usually come in about 14 ounces, so we've got two cans here, and we need 28 ounces for this key lime pie. Now, if you're uh, doing a filling on the key lime pie, it's usually like a nine inch pie pan, and uh, it should give you just enough to fill it all the way to the top of your pie. So pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do you feel like you're, uh, right. you're still back in Florida, Kevin? I do. I just <laughs> smell these key limes. You know, I think we're, I think I'm in the mood for a tropical vacation. You know, last week we made the whole orange blender cake. That was fun. That was fun. That was a <laughs> that blast. Was actually quite delicious. That was a viral TikTok recipe, which we had never tried before. Never thought it would work in a million years, and it did. And it did. It we did. Were, it was pretty great. You know what? This sweetened condensed milk definitely gets a little bit sticky at times, so just be aware of that when you're popping huh, open your sweet, can. Sweet, sticky. <laughs> Everything you need for a dessert, right? <laughs> Yeah, I would say so. But, you know, Kevin, you're crushing I know. the juicing game of these key limes. I've been told that before. <laughs> but, you know, if you, don't like have, if you don't have the key limes, that's okay, too. Um, you can use regular limes. You can actually also use lime juice. But we're, uh, we're being as close to authentic as we can be in this process. Now, Kevin, have you ever made a graham cracker crust from scratch? You know, I can't say that I have. It's really quite simple. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I bet you use graham crackers. You use graham One crackers. One ingredient, main. You use about six tablespoons of melted butter, okay. some sugar. You blend it all together, pour it in, and then uh, and just voila. And voila, and you put it into the the oven. But you know, it's different. It's actually you bake it at about 375. If we were to make this from scratch. Okay. So sweetened condensed milk is looking great. Now here's the interesting part. We're actually going to add sour cream to this key lime pie mixture. Okay. And the sour cream gives it a nice like fluffy and I, I would say almost lighter than using um, cream cheese or something along those lines. And I, I prefer the sour cream over the cream cheese just because it's a lighter like consistency than you know the density of some cream cheese. We'll have at there it. There we go. Have Great. at it. So we would use about a half a cup, but we'll, we'll kind of guesstimate here what that would look like as we are pouring, putting this sour cream now, into How many ounces mixer. of this uh, lime juice do I need? We need about three quarters. Before of I get cup. arthritis in my hands, I'll <laughs> Kevin, never play I the always, piano again. Always make Kevin do the uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the manual labor Straight in the kitchen here. Time here. We need about three quarters of a cup, but you know you're. Just, you're doing hey, I'm great. I'm getting there. You are. Well, you continue to do that. I'm going to actually scoop my um, sour cream into, into our measuring cup here. But yeah, so pie. It's an infinite number. Yeah. What do you think about it? Are you a math guy? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a math guy, but uh, I know what the numbers were, obviously, from the quiz that you gave just me earlier. continue to go on and on and yeah. on. You know, I was looking up different, like, regions have different pies that are specific to them. 
So that was pretty cool. Huh. Yeah. You, Colorado. Can, you, can you recall a few of them? I can. We've got the Palisade Peach Pie in Colorado. Oh, yeah. That's a that's big a, one. That's and a big one. And then obviously, if you're on the East Coast or in the South, pecan pie is usually number one. I know. Is it pecan or pecan? You know, I had this discussion yesterday. I say pecan. What do you say? Pecan. Pecan. You know, I think it's indicative of where you're from, really. I don't know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to continue to fill up the sour cream, mix it in there. Kevin, you are doing a great job. And then I'm on key lime number 475. <laughs> Maybe we should have used real limes. That would have gotten a Probably lot faster. We should have, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Tune in. Tune, Tune in, in tomorrow next Monday. For part two. <laughs> I have bandages on my hands and a splint. In a split. Oh my goodness. So I've got all of my sour cream mixed in here and you can see we've got two cans, about 14 ounces of that sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Then we've got about um, one half of a cup of the sour cream. So it's looking good to me. And I'm going to go ahead and start mixing that while you continue. Why don't you go ahead and start mixing hey, that? Hey, why don't I... I go ahead and start mixing that while Kevin is continuing to juice these key lines. I'll be able to hold a pen for a week. <laughs> You know, we're just over here having some fun yep. in the kitchen. At least I'm having fun. Poor Kevin is not. But I'll, um, and while he's continuing to do that, so it's lime zest. We've got the lime juice. And then I'll actually go ahead and zest up some lime into our mixture here. And it's okay if it's a little bit chunky. You know, texture is fine. Is it okay? I think it's okay. You know, that's my personal opinion. Maybe if it's so, a pecan pie. I do like a good pecan pie. <laughs> There was actually, there was a place, and I wish I could recall the name, when I was in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love pie there Georgia. was incredible. Oh, I bet. You know, you are in the mecca of delicious mm -hmm. southern sweetness. Yep. That's true. So, Kevin, before you juice all of those limes, may I have one or two of them so I can start zesting? <laughs> there you go. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Great. I'm going to grab the cheese grater next to you. So if you don't have an actual zesting apparatus, you can use your cheese grater right here. And you can see that it's just easy, yeah. nice it's and gonna simple. It's going to be a little more coarse than a regular zester, but that's not a bad thing. It's really not. You know, it's, it's totally okay. You can use really whatever you've got if you're trying to be resourceful. No need to, like, become a chef and add more to your... Oh, to no. Your, let's uh, add more. Let's, <laughs> let's add, add more to your kitchen how many, toolbox. How many cups of this? I think, you know, we're just going to keep going we're gonna juice oh, all of the Oh, is that what we're going to do? We okay. are. So it's pretty great. You can see I'm just kind of holding it over my um, my mixture so far over the condensed milk. We're going to zest it up a little bit. Adds a nice little color. It does. It really does. The you know. Shamrock green. We are approaching St. Patrick's we're Day. We're approaching. So we're making some key lime pie because green and also pie day. I mean, to me, it's the perfect combination. Hey, they go hand in hand. They really do. Clover and clover. Clover and clover. So we are zesting, I'm zesting it into here. And you can see it looks it looks great. You've got the, the nice bright green of the key limes. You can use a regular lime, again, if you don't have this yeah. or don't have access to key limes. Regular limes are just as good. Looking great. And we're just gonna juice up all of the limes that we've got here. So even though I'm zesting this, I'm gonna give this lime back to Kevin so he can continue juicing. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> one more lime to zest. <laughs> At least this one will be a little bit easier. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know what I like to do ahead of time too, if I if I have time. I always like to kind of roll on my citrus fruit just to kind of like get the juices flowing. Yeah, nobody before cares. I cut it <laughs> before <laughs> I cut it open. All of that, right? And so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and continue. I'm gonna do the last little bit of zesting here. Yeah, you've worked this one over pretty well. I told you I was going to. <laughs> the amount of juice that's gonna flow from this one. <laughs> Do ten pies. It's true. It's really going to be nice. Three point one four pies. <laughs> we got to three point one four pies. <laughs> oh man, oh man. You know, I actually loved working with pie when I was doing math in, in school. When really? I Why? Let's I don't know. Story. I just thought it was kind of cool. This'll I like. Get, get I like to draw in. it. I was a, kind of a, a bit of a math nerd, and I liked how things looked. So I love to uh, to write write the pie out. So I mean, I think the zesting is looking looking pretty good. You yeah. know, it really is up to you, kind of, and that's what great about this recipe is you want to make sure that you've got like sweet and condensed milk right and the sour cream right right then that everything consistency else, part and then yeah then that's exactly right everything else can kind of be up to what you choose to uh, to measure it out so we're just about done okay and once we get <laughs> we <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and we stir are this in. And while kevin you is are. continuing to zest or juice uh, i think 
We're looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and dump some of the juice in here. Oh, can we? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we can. We, I think that was Don't know if I can grab me. the cup. <laughs> I can grab the cup Here, for take you. this. Don't get the seeds well. in there. <laughs> After I did all that work, and you're just going to dump everything in. It's true. For crying out loud, We're just going to dump this beautiful We're professionals, lime for God's juice sake. into our pie. We're going to stir it up. And then when we're done, we're just going to pour it into our pie tin and pop it in the oven. So the oven is at 350 degrees. And the best part about this recipe is it only takes 10 minutes to bake, which is great. And then you want to oh. let it cool for a bit before you start putting whipped cream or anything on it. Okay. But that's, a, that's it. That's our recipe. Simple. Simple. Very simple. Simple, simple. So 28, <laughs> ounces, <laughs> 28 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. You want about a half a cup of sour cream. Juice as many key limes yeah. as you can. A couple With of twelve children <laughs> to uh, juice the mini it's true. limes. Well, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our pie tin. Our pie tin. Pop it into the oven for about ten minutes, and we'll let it cool, and we'll show you what it looks like All when right. we come back out. Be right back. The pie's done. Pie's done. <laughs> Happy pie day, Kevin. Yeah. After Happy squeezing fifty. <laughs> Key limes. I'm gonna to have to call Dr. Viola over at the Stedman Clinic to well, redo the tendons of my just fingers. Well, go get a hand massage. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, we have our homemade whipped cream, and it was very simple to make. We did it with a about a half a cup of um, powdered sugar. On top of that, a little about a tablespoon of vanilla, and yeah. then you put some heavy whipping cream in it, and you just mix it all together until it stiffens up or forms what we like to call peaks. And as you can see, it Look at looks those. perfect great. peaks. Look at this. Like the peaks of a 14er. The peaks of a 14er. We are a big fan of peaks here in Colorado. And this pie looks great. We've got, uh, it, we've let it cool. And if you really want it to set, you let it cool for about, you know, three hours in total. But, you know, either it kind of needs that three hours to set up nice. We'll really, see what happens here. It really does. But it's looking, it looks good to me. You can see a little bit of that lime zest from all the key lime pie that Kevin or all the key limes that come in. Uh, now, if you want to use the juice. word expert right now, as far as cutting the pie, yeah. that worked. It really did. Now, and you could probably uh, zest a little. You could if you wanted to, yeah. if you really wanted to get fancy but with unfortunately, it. unfortunately, I've <laughs> squeezed all of the key limes. Well, it looks great to me. I'm sure it tastes wonderful. Well, also. I'm going to find out. Good morning, Vale. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. TV8 te brinda la mejor programación en español todos los días. Sintoniza Conexión Latina los lunes, miércoles y viernes a las 7 de la tarde con repeticiones los fines de semana. Además, te presentamos nuestro nuevo programa Sabores y Creaciones, donde hemos juntado tus recetas y manualidades favoritas en un solo lugar los martes y jueves a las 7 de la tarde. Y por último, disfruta de Daily Flash Latino con noticias y entretenimiento en tendencia los sábados a las 7 de la tarde. Te esperamos por el canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página de Facebook TV8 Conexión Latina, nuestro canal de YouTube TV8 Bell Good Morning Bell o nuestra página web tv8bell.com. Well, Archer and I are going to get headed on further down the trail, but I hope you'll catch up with us a little bit later. Hi, I'm Ben Roof and I'm one of the new hosts here at TV8. I'm so excited to share all of my explorations throughout the Vale Valley with my dog, Archer, where we'll be taking you to hiking trails, biking trails, maybe we'll go rafting, fishing, or whatever else we can come up with. I'm so excited to share all of that with you in my new segment, Outdoor Adventures. Don't forget to catch up with us every day right here at TV8 Vale or at TV8Vale.com because there's always more for you on 92. Learn the latest in science each week and how it relates to everyday life. From space exploration, to plant biology, to the latest in high-tech advances. Every new scientific development is explored and explained in an understandable way. Amazing stories each week. Watch Science Now.
Do you have an interesting hobby or skill you'd like to share for Vale Valley? We want to hear from you. We're looking for people to share their musical, artistic, culinary, woodworking, athletic, or technical talents on Good Morning Vale. If you'd like to share your talents with the community, email danielle at tvavail.com. Join the community conversation. There's more for you on 92. Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. Sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. We have so many incredible hotels, luxury resorts, and beyond here in the Valley. Gretchen had a conversation with the general manager of the Lodge of Vail. Good morning, Vail. Welcome back to Good Morning, Vail. Now, it's always a good day when we have our friend Christopher McRoy here from the Lodge of Vail. How are you doing, Christopher? Great. Good morning, Gretchen. And I should say you're the general manager over there. Big title yeah. for a beautiful space. <laughs> It's, uh, it's nice to have the, the reins of the most historic hotel. Oh my Valley, gosh, so. I know. And I know that we've had you on the couch a couple of times, but give us a little bit of background about the Lodge of Vail for people that are just tuning in. Yeah, so if, uh, if you're not familiar, uh, when Vail began in 1962, the Forest Service uh, mandated that the ski resort actually have a place to house visitors. Right. So the lodge was built the same year that the mountain opened in 1962. Cool. And literally the village grew up around us for the next 60 years. So. That is such a neat thing to be able to say. And I'm sure so many people, I mean, listen, I've been here for 10 years. I've seen the old school pictures. They blow my mind. I think you just assumed that everything was here, you know? Yeah. It didn't grow and it did, you know, it's just always been veiled. No, it looked like a ghost town. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty exciting that you were the first. We had uh, actually David Yarrow, the photographer, yes. was in town a couple of weeks ago and was looking for uh, historic shots in the village. Yeah. And um, our communications director on the mountain, John Plack, hooked him up with us and did a photo shoot right in front of the, the, um, the, the hotel on Monday morning, wow. three weekends ago. Uh, and his um, pictures are going to debut uh, tonight at Relevant Gallery, right in right in the village. So. What an honor! And David Yarrow is an, a huge name, and yeah. we actually just had an interview with him, so that's pretty special. Oh, how cool! Full circle here in Vail. For, <laughs> that's hard to say this Friday. Full circle. There we go. So I know Christopher. You always have tons of events, cool things happening. Let's start St. Patty's Day. What yeah. is happening St. Patty's Day with you guys? So Chef Rudy's put together uh, an Irish beef stew for us uh, for $16 <sighs> that day. Uh, we'll have drink specials and green beer and live music with Michelle Levy from 4 until 7 that afternoon. Love so, her. She is a brilliant yeah. soul and such a beautiful singer. Yeah. She's, yeah. She's going to bring a good vibe to that room for sure. Oh, I love it. So green beer, beef stew. That sounds like I've never actually tried it. Yeah. That's brilliant. Okay. Traditional Irish dish. I so. love that. Okay. So will uh, Michelle be singing some Irish tunes, do we think? <laughs> Uh, we're not putting any pressure on it for that, but uh, I'm sure she'll get into the. I'll uh, message she'll her. Feel the mood yeah, for she'll sure. definitely. That's awesome. So that is on the 17th. Is that correct? Yeah, this 
coming Sunday. Okay, awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I feel like time is flying by. Yeah, where'd merch go? Uh, it totally, <laughs> I know. And pretty soon we'll be talking about Easter right around the corner. Um, and then you have March Madness, which I am not well versed in, but I know a lot of my friends are super into this. So when does that start? Yeah, so we'll actually get, um, the grade will be built on uh, Sunday and all the teams okay. released. So uh, we'll put our, our programming um, after Sunday when we, knew, uh, when we know what time games are and which teams are playing. Okay. Um, but we actually installed a whole bunch of uh, big 75 inch screens in the yes. in Kuchina this last year so we'd like to believe we're one of the better places in the village to catch games if folks are interested and that's something I know we had uh, physically came uh, come in and seen that you guys the space and everything and it's beautiful and those TVs I have to say and I really mean this they're big but they're not annoying or they don't uh, the way that you have them set up they don't really uh, distract is yeah. a good word for it I mean I, they really do they're just kind of like it's a vibe. Like I saw people at the bar watching, but then other people talk. It's not distracting. Yeah, I don't think that I would consider our, ourselves a sports bar. Right. But it's definitely kind of a, a cool, casual, fun place to come and watch games. Okay, that's awesome. And you have $5 beers and then you have $25 buckets. Yeah, Is that $5 okay. beers and $25 buckets across the across the games. And then um, they'll have nightly specials from the kitchen. Oh, uh, that's usually so... Usually tailgate themed food is they'll do when we have And your food events. is brilliant. I've had, I've had food there and I've had smoothies and coffees the whole thing. It's really, really good. Thank you for so that. I can honestly say that. <laughs> and then I'm very excited about this. And I know we've kind of touched base on this before, but the wildflower throwback dinner. Yeah. Can so we talk about that? We've done bit? four of those this year. And okay. um, wildflower uh, for years, 20 years was one of the most famous restaurants in the village. Right. Uh, it closed in 2011 and always took its place. Right. Um, our executive chef, Rudy, started his career on the hotline in that restaurant. Oh, I did not realize that. Okay. So I started last year right into the 60th anniversary of the mountain and didn't have a lot of time to put any programming together around celebrating right. the history of the lodge. So we asked Rudy to go back and pull out some of the old menus from, from back in the day. So we have these wildflower inspired menus. And then we still have their wine cellar. So really? there's some wines, the, the newest wines down there are, are 2009. So we'll go down into the cellar and pull out um, four flights with dinner, um, some absolutely extraordinary wines, things That's, you just can't find wow. um, that'll get paired um, with the dinners that night. And you have a choice of three entrees, five courses. Oh, so. That sounds brilliant. So you really have the energy from the old restaurant there. I won't say that we're trying to recreate it exactly, right. but um, we definitely take a very casual restaurant and turn it into a white tablecloth experience for that night um, with, with traditional wine service and just kind of elevating the experience in the restaurant that night. So it's March 22nd. Friday this 22nd, that's correct. Okay, and that's one night only? One night only. Okay, and let's, I mean, honestly, a lot of people will be interested. How do I go about making a reservation? How do yeah. we do this? <laughs> um, actually, you can just call Cucina, um, okay. and they'll take the reservations for you. It is also on open table. Okay, Very great. limited seating. We do a, a six, uh, six o'clock seating uh, for 20 people and a 7.30 seating for 20 people. Oh, wow. So, so you have to yeah. make sure you get that reservation. Yeah. I mean, and this is no joke. <laughs> it's a, it's, a, it's a, a really, really wonderful experience. And um, I had a, a young lady here uh, the last time that we did it who his father had passed away. And that was their space uh, when she was a child. Oh, that was wow. her memory. So she actually came and had her dinner in memory of him that night, which was kind of an emotional thing. Um, but yes. Yeah, but it was um, to know that people are still connected to the restaurant and it has meaning for them. Uh, we just want to celebrate that. You know, I love that you said that. That's really beautiful because so often in Vail, especially I feel maybe I'm a little biased, a little, you know, I love Vail. Um, you know, there are so many restaurants that you have these memories, like you're saying, and you have these moments. And when they're no longer, you just yeah. feel a disconnect. So that's really neat that you do that. How did you think about doing this? You know, it was just um, when I when I started researching uh, the lodge, um, before I actually came to work here. Um, I've always loved properties and places that have history. Right. And Wildflower was such a storied part of Vale's history. It just felt natural to, to kind of honor that and That's celebrate so it again. Neat. So That is really special because, you know, since I've been here, it's always been always. And so even to learn about this, now yeah. I want to go in. That's really cool. And feel like you're kind of stepping back in time and going to a restaurant that you've heard about, but you've never really get. Some people haven't gotten to experience. That's yeah. pretty cool. We use the, the big screens on either side of the dining room uh, and project some historic pictures and things that we found. Wow. Wow. Uh, when I took over my office, there was a, a giant box of slides, like 300 really? slides from old marketing things from like the 80s and 90s. So okay. we digitized all of those and have a bunch of photography that we used to kind of just, again, put the mood back in the room. That is so cool. And I know, Christopher, we've been talking all things food, and now you made me hungry. So thank you, Kachina. <laughs> it's so brilliant. Um, but also, we need to talk about your spa as yeah. well. I want to hear a little bit about that. I think a little birdie let me know we might be uh, coming in to see it. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Uh, come down in, uh, at the end of the month or in, in 
May, we'd love to have you down. Uh, we have 12 treatment rooms, a lovely couples treatment room. Uh, Coco, our spa manager, yes. actually just built a, um, a recovery room. So we have oxygen therapy and leg compression therapy as well. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so wonderful estheticians, uh, a great um, array of facials and uh, um, pretty much any kind of massage that you'd want to do. I love our couples room. It's got this giant Japanese soaking tub and fireplace. And That's it's pretty a, it's amazing. A vibe. That, yeah. It is a vibe. That sounds so <laughs> romantic and so re like relaxing and just, so you have facials, massages. Um, you said that you have uh, the, what is the like? Leg compression. Compression, okay. Yeah, so it moves the blood from your legs back into the core of your body to help you recover from time on the mountain, <sighs> reoxygenate your core. That's um, awesome. And then the oxygen therapy in that room as well, so. And how long are you guys open? Because I know a lot of places, they will close during the mud season, et cetera, off season. Are you, is the spa still open during that time? We'll take two weeks off um, to refresh okay. after season because right. it's been a crazy busy place uh -huh. since November. Um, so we'll take two weeks off to do deep clean preventive maintenance right, um, right in the middle of the month but otherwise we're open from uh, right now 10 to 7 daily and oh, then awesome. we'll go back to 10 to 6 as the mountain closes okay and demand kind of drops a little bit so. but that's so awesome that you and good on you for giving people time <laughs> i mean i have to say a time off because everyone at this point is a little we you know you were saying and i have to give a shout out to all your hardworking employees because you're like they are just doing so well but i think the vibe is people are needing to breathe yeah. a little bit they need a little bit of a rest yeah not technically supposed to be counting down till mountain close <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah it's only three more weeks so um. <laughs> how did you know that how did you know that yeah. christopher <laughs> and i think everyone's ready to have um some of their time you know we've done a, a great job serving people and right. making people feel welcome um and making Vale a, a special memory for their families and it, it's, it'll be time to do a little recharge for everybody well and i was saying this off camera and it's very true I do want to say this to your staff you know when I came in one day I had not one not two three people ask me truly you know are you okay have you been helped is there anything I can help you with in the span of literally maybe eight minutes five minutes and that really to me made me feel so welcome and I'm just thinking you know as a local if they're treating me like that they're treating everyone amazing so thank you Christopher McRoy we we love you here oh, that makes my heart smile <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> of course and go check out every oh where can everyone go to check out all things uh, our Instagram is actually probably the easiest okay. place to go it's the lodge at Vale so okay. literally spelled out the lodge at Vale there's great information there on the um, the wildflower dinner St. Patrick's Day, all the live music programming that we do on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Okay. So you can find it all there. Awesome. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. And keep it right here. We have more Good Morning Vale to come. It's the fastest half hour in television. Toyota's Race Week takes you inside the high-speed world of NASCAR. Go behind the scenes for a look into the high adrenaline world of motorsports and hear from your favorite drivers as they discuss the drive to a championship. If you love NASCAR, you won't want to miss Toyota's Race Week. Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. Sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode, and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We've transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. I'm Amy Goodman, host of Democracy Now! Our independent news hour offers diverse perspectives and unique opinions often unheard in the mainstream media, live as the news unfolds. Tune in for Democracy Now!, The War and Peace Report, weekday mornings at 9 and evenings at 6 on TV8 Vale, Comcast Xfinity Channel 92.
There's more for you on Channel 92. Learn the latest in science each week and how it relates to everyday life. Amazing stories. Watch Science Now. Good morning, Vail. GMV Express, what in the world is it? Well, we are so excited about this new programming segment. And so we had a conversation with Danielle, our general manager and vice president of Deerfield Media and TV8, all about it. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. So many wonderful things happening out there in the community, but even more happening here at TV8 in the studio. I'm joined today by our fearless leader, Danielle Turner, Vice President, General Manager of TV8, among many other things. <laughs> yes. A lot of great things have been happening here, Danielle. We've got Gretchen's Glitz and Glam that's just yeah. taken off. Avisia Scarborough's Vale Vibes, yes. kind of keeping everybody in the know. Yes. And, and Connexion. Connexion Latina. Yeah. Happening right now. It's so everything is building up. What else is happening? So many things are happening, Kat. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the one I wanted to drop in to tell you about this morning is um, weekend edition of Good Morning Vale. Okay. So, you know, I like to make it a point to kind of get out in the community, talk to the viewers, see what it is that they want to hear from us because that's you know one of the joys of being the community television station is yeah. we're trying to serve the community and what i've been hearing is that although they love the two-hour format during the week on the weekends they need something a little shorter they want to get out they want to hit the slopes they right. want to get out with the mountain bikes and be out with the family in this in the summer yeah um and so good morning vale is going to turn into gmv express on the weekends. Wow. So it will go from 7 a.m. to 8.15. So an hour and 15 minutes, a little okay. bit shorter. Yeah. Get, get all of your uh, details a little bit sooner um, so that you can get out and enjoy your day. And then the balance of that 45 minutes that normally belong to Good Morning Vale, um, you're gonna find all kinds of fun things. Conexia Latina. Right. Um, we're doing some other um, Spanish <laughs> health forums that we, We've just recently started uh, to salute. Um, we also have a Spanish cooking show um, and you know, mountain perspectives mm -hmm. and some other fun things that are coming down the pike that I can't talk about quite yet. Just a potpourri of There's programming. There's a potpourri of things that you're going to find. So nice. if you can stick around for that extra 45 minutes, you're going to find a lot of fun things. And, and if, if the, not, then you've gotten all of your good information, right. your weather, and you your You get news. that hour and 15 minutes exactly. of condensed two hours of info. Exactly. Great. And then you can get on with your day. Perfect. And I've kind of heard the same thing. It's like people get up on the weekends, and even though they don't have to go to work, they still want to get the programming and right. get out there and enjoy the get day. Get their errands done, get out there and enjoy yeah. the day. And so we're going to meet them where they need to be. Perfect. Yes. Well, that's what TV8 is all about. You know, listening to the viewers, reacting appropriately, and then getting them that programming they want, need, and expect. Absolutely. We're happy to do it. Yeah. Now, I've noticed Easter's around the corner. Yes. And between the two of us, an egg has appeared. <laughs> yes. My I love little the egg. egg. Is My it little just egg. being festive, or what's going on no, with the egg? No, actually, um, you know, there's nothing I love more than a good watch and win, Kevin. So. Oh. In the spirit of Easter, we're going to do a little watch and win. So okay. starting on Monday, we're going to give away one word a day for a sentence. It's okay. going to be a scrambled up. We're going to give a different word every day. At the end of the week, uh, the one week period, you have all of your words, unscramble the sentence, reach out to us. And if you're the first person to unscramble the sentence, you're going to get the contents of my pretty little purple egg. The mystery egg. Yes, and there's some fun stuff in there, Kev. So okay. people want to win, wanna but you've got to tune into Good Morning Vale every, every day. day to get the every word of the day. day. Yes, and we're okay. not going to repeat it. So you've got to get in okay. that word of the day. And no cheating. You can't go back and start watching on YouTube. You can. You can. But <laughs> but integrity. we prefer we're integrity here. That's right. We prefer you just tune in with us every morning, and then there will be a similar little egg on Conexia Latina. So if you're watching us on this in the Spanish block, you'll okay. have a chance to win there too. All right. So two chances to win. Yes. Context, con, 
Connects you to Latina. Connects you to Latina. And yeah. then the regular Good Morning Vale. Mm, on Good Morning Vale. Unscramble vale. those words. Oh. It's going to be fun. Now, it's going to be a five word sentence or a seven are we going seven days or how many days so we're going to start on monday and okay. we're going to go through the following tuesday so it is All a right. nine oh. letter or nine word sentence okay so you've got to tune in with us for a whole week long mm. to get all of those words unscramble the sentence and win the fun prize all right well i can tell the viewers are in the edge of their seats getting their pads of paper ready <laughs> pens that's right and we'll see what happens we will see what happens well danielle as always it's a pleasure I see you every day, but it's nice to sit here on the couch, it's talk always... about what's going on, and it's 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 just going to be so much fun having that condensed version on the weekends. Yes. And then our fun egg promotion going on. Absolutely, we're looking forward to it. Ah, oh, all right. Well, get out there, get ready, because this promotion is going to be a lot of fun and scramble the words. Win a prize, big prizes, big prizes, here on TV8. So stay tuned, and we'll be back with more Good Morning Vale. Eyepieces of Veil has been a fixture in the Veil community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high-performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses, and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory. Eyepieces, the art of vision. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. TV8 te brinda la mejor programación en español todos los días. Sintoniza Conexión Latina los lunes, miércoles y viernes a las 7 de la tarde con repeticiones los fines de semana. Además, te presentamos nuestro nuevo programa Sabores y Creaciones, donde hemos juntado tus recetas y manualidades favoritas en un solo lugar los martes y jueves a las 7 de la tarde. Y por último, disfruta de Daily Flash Latino con noticias y entretenimiento en tendencia los sábados a las 7 de la tarde. Te esperamos por el canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página de Facebook TV8 Conexión Latina, nuestro canal de YouTube TV8 Bell Good Morning Bell o nuestra página web tv8bell.com. Welcome to the Vibe Report with Avija. This is where I tell you all about the exciting happenings around town. This Saturday and Sunday, there will be live music at Gambit Bar, Shakedown Bar, Park Hyatt Beaver Creek, the Weston Riverfront, and the Revel Lounge at the Hive. This Sunday is St. Patrick's Day and there will be celebrations all over town, including at 2nd Street Tavern in Eagle and at Chasing Rabbits where they are having their Luck of the Irish A Prey event. Alpine Art Center is having their St. Patty's Cupcakes and Clay event where you can sculpt a St. Patty's Day gnome while enjoying cupcakes. Visit alpineartcenter.org for registration info. If you're into adventure, check out Journey to the Summit in Eagle for a full day of activities, including a snowshoe hike, a cold plunge and sauna experience, and a panel discussion with renowned experts Devin Levesque, Dr. John Kadrowski, and William Walker on the mindset it takes to climb Everest. This event takes place on Saturday, March 16th at 8 a.m. More info is at natureninja.co and also at the Nature Ninja Eventbrite page. Also on Saturday morning is the annual Kruger Family Shamrock Shuffle. Taking place on the Vail Nordic Center trails, the event includes two race categories, snowshoes and running. Check out vailrec.com for more information. 
Nature Discovery Center will have their guided snowshoe tour on Vail Mountain, and more info can be found at walkingmountains.org. On Sunday, the Eagle River Presbyterian Church will have a special screening of the film, The Paradise Paradox, which is an in-depth look at the mental health crisis that has been sweeping America's mountain towns. It's produced by Olympian Bodie Miller. That's it for this weekend's Vibe Report, friends. Be sure to follow the Vale Vibes TV8 Instagram for more info. And as always, spread the good vibes. Hi, it's Master TV8 Vale. We want to invite you all to the Wacky Winter Reading Program. It's open to all ages. All you have to do is read 10 books or a thousand pages. For more information, go on our website, tv8vale.com. And thank you to our sponsor, the Eagle Valley Library District. Hi, I'm Gretchen Fleshaw, host of Good Morning Vale. Now we're doing something really cool for Easter. Starting Monday the 18th, every single day, you're gonna get a new word. So if you watch every day and unscramble the words to make a sentence, you can win what's in this egg. Make sure and tune in every day. Good Morning Vale. You're watching K34QB, Vale, Colorado. Look good, see good, feel good, ski good, whatever you want, Eyepieces of Vail has it all. So let's take a look at their latest and greatest conversation. Good morning, Vail. Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. I'm here in Vail Village at Eyepieces of Vail, where it is the art of vision. That's their tagline. And I'm here with Mr. Alexander. <laughs> The maestro of uh, eyepieces. Now, how many stores do you have now? So we're actually up to eight now. Um, eight stores. Yeah, so I mean, we've been in Vail for 40 years. We're actually celebrating 40 years this year. So it's very special um, for us. And we also, like, we're known throughout the world. Um, every store is going to be a little different, which is kind of nice. So we're currently here at Village Center right. uh, across from Solaris. And this is where we're going to have our lab, our doctor, who's in every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. So wait, you can do prescriptions for all of the eyewear? Totally. So this How about I goggles? We can do prescription goggles as well. Yep. And let's say you don't have your prescription you can come in, see our doctor, and it's one of those unique cases where, you know, being in the mountains, you're on vacation, like, who's carrying their prescription right, with them? Right. Um, what's really exciting is that you can pick out something, a unique frame or something like that, um, and we can either call your doctor for a prescription, or we can duplicate the lenses you have in our lensometer, um, or you can come see our doctor as well. Wow. Yeah. So, the art of vision, and we broke out... <laughs> In honor of St. Patrick's Day around the corner, we've got some green glasses, and you have an exclusive brand only here, only in store, not online. Talk about that. So, um, Chrome Hearts, um, if you're not familiar, they use all precious metals. Um, you will only find them in Chrome Hearts boutiques and it, through authorized dealers. We've developed a great relationship with Chrome Hearts over the years. And what's actually come to that is this year for our 40th anniversary, we have collaborated to create three special pieces that you will only find here at Eyepieces. Um, and these, these frames are only limited to 20 each. Um, wow. So, and that's it. The 20 done and done, won't find them anywhere else. So it's, it's really special. Um, and, and I love, so I got to give you credit for the idea. Like he, Kevin came in, he immediately pointed out the, the green glass. He goes, these are great for St. Patty's day. And I was like, let's do it. We have a theme. <laughs> we have, we a, have theme. a theme now. <laughs> and, and that's what's special and unique about eyepieces is I kind of started going around and looking for green frames. And as you can see here, we have a large variety. Um, so anything from your chrome hearts where you're getting kind of that olive tone, something elegant, but with a touch of color, and then you get into like your Teo, your Anne and Valentine, even your sport glasses, your goggles, um, they, it, there's 
so many different styles and designs out there. Right. Um, and that's what makes us unique. Yeah. And as we talk about the art of vision and the uniqueness of some of this eyewear, where there's only a certain limited number, when you buy art, what's more special than having, I've got one of 10 or one of 20. And so it's, it's not just functional, but it's fashionable as well. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because um, like the frames I'm wearing, there's only 150 of these. Uh, and people are like, I like those. Can I get those? And it's like, yeah, no, uh, no, check, check an antique store. <laughs> um, like, and, and that's what, if you, it's on your face. Um, right. especially if you're wearing prescription, um, also it's very bright here in Colorado. So yep. needing sunglasses or also catering to a day like today where it's a little overcast. So like catering to do like a rose lens or something like that where you, right. because some, you can still get a little bit of that reflection and everything like that. You don't want to go too dark, but we can also cater lenses, customize lenses and find the right fit for you um, or your needs. Well, what I really love too, Garrett, with you and the rest of the staff here at Eyepieces is you're experts. So yeah. someone comes yeah. in, they have a couple questions, you've got all the answers, whether it's what goggle do I need up here in the mountains? Do I need multiple frames? How about the eyewear? I want something chic for apre, and you break them all out and then lead that customer on a journey of the right. eyewear that's best going to fit them, their personality, and what they're looking for. I, I love that you just said it's a journey because it is. Like, it's the first thing people see. It's important, but it's, it's also suiting your needs. So um, a lot of time I'll get someone who comes in, they're, they're like, I need glasses for tennis. And I'm like, okay, is it hard court or clay court? So right. is the court brown or is the court green? Because yeah. then – you're kind of adjusting the lens for that contrast because obviously you want to see the ball better. So, um, so I'll do a brown lens or a rose lens to contrast the green. Like, yeah. um, it goes that far into depth, um, and it gets really exciting. I I like to say it's it's easy. It's not. <laughs> no, not at all. When you look around the store, the hundreds of eyewear pieces that you have, as well as the different brands, and each brand has a uniqueness to it that you, the expert, can tell us about. Totally. And, and the hardest part is if you're stuck to one, just trying to pick one. Right, um, right. Uh, but I say never be stuck to one because, you know, it's like shoes. You don't have just one pair of shoes. You have your running shoes. You have your hiking boots. You right. have your ski boots. You have your going out shoes. Um, yeah, so it's the same thing with eyewear as well. Yeah. It's accessorizing. Yeah, this isn't just a purchase of glasses. It's an intimate experience. And you go through, when we mentioned earlier, that journey of what it's about. Is it a formal occasion? Is it a casual occasion? What is? What are we doing here? Totally. I, I mean... We're coming in the springtime, you kind of get some like weddings or something like that. Like that. Maybe you have an event coming up that you, you want to have a presence. Uh, or maybe you just want to blend in and, or you're looking for a new pair of glasses to work at your desk. We can customize, do um, like an office lens or something like that. Um, it, yeah, I mean, as you become more pres by optic, uh, which is where you need those readers, you know, it's kind of the nature of the beast and let's have some fun and find some cool glasses that you're excited to put on and not feel old as a lot of people right. do when they have readers. And exactly. I'm like, no, no, exactly. embrace it. Make it fun. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, I tell you what, so eight stores. Eight stores. Um, so we are located uh, here in Eagle Valley. We have Beaver Creek, Edwards, which... We also have a doctor there Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, and okay. then he comes here in the afternoon. So we have Edwards, Lion's Head, Sun and Alp here, and Bridge Street. Um, and like I said, oh, and then Snowmass and Basalt as well. Um, but like I said, we 